genealogies and some of that are changing the way law enforcement can close some of these cases out. An unidentified man whose remains were found in Montana 17 years ago may have ties to our area and those working to find out who he is are asking for help with DNA match. To news reporter Shannon Smith spoke with those working to close this case and how people in Harlan County, Kentucky and Hancock County, Tennessee may be able to help. In October 2003 in northwestern Montana, hunters found the partial skeletal remains of this man. Nearly 17 years later, authorities still don't know who he is, how he got there, or what led to his death. When you're dealing with missing people, it's always hard because sometimes they're reported missing and sometimes they're not. Flathead County Sheriff Brian Hano said this case got a resurgence in the past few years thanks to technology in both forensics and social media. The popular podcast Crime Junkies released an episode about the case last month. Podcast went out and I bet you within same the same day yeah, we were getting contacts from either individuals or news. Sheriff Hano said thanks to a group called the DNA Doe Project, what little DNA authorities had was used to create an image of what this man may have looked like. They believe he was 18 to 42 when he died. He was about 5'7 and wore size 11 Adidas tennis shoes. Getting that information out and then just trying to find that one person that maybe had a an idea or information. People in East Tennessee and Southeast Kentucky may be able to help identify him. The DNA Doe Project uses self-reported DNA tests from people who take them using programs like 23andMe and try to match them to missing persons. The group says this man who died in Montana was a distant match for people in our area. We're not talking parents, more like second cousins several generations back. They think his lineage could be linked to families in Harlan County, Kentucky, with the last names Sailor, Helton, Brock, or Blanton, or families in Hancock County, Tennessee, with the last names Green, Epperson, Seals, or Trent. Detectives hope anyone with a possible connection will upload their DNA profile to gedmatch.com and opt in for law enforcement use. The farther the reach we can get, the better. I'm Shannon Smith reporting.